Hello, my name is Andrew, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your first HTML website using Microsoft Azure. Let's get started. The first thing we'll do is we'll go to the Azure website at azure.microsoft.com and we'll check out the pricing. Unless you're doing something really fancy with your website, the site will actually be free. You can run up to 10 websites for free with Azure. So if you go to the pricing calculator, you'll be able to see how much the website will cost you. So keeping with the free website, which doesn't let you use a custom domain, but that's fine for now, you'll also see that you can get 5 gigabytes of bandwidth, outgoing bandwidth for free, and otherwise it starts charging you, and then you have the free level of support included. So that looks fine. Now, if you don't have an account yet, go ahead and create an account. We'll assume that you already have one set up. Then go to manage.windowsazure.com and we'll get started. Once on the portal management site, click the new button at the bottom, make sure website is selected, and select from the gallery. That'll let us create our HTML website. You also have a lot of other options like creating a Java website, ASP website, but we're not going to go into those. From the left, select templates and select HTML5 Empty Site. Click the next button in the bottom right, type in your URL that you want, then select your region and what subscription you want the site to go on, which really shouldn't matter as long as you stay under that free network, and click the Finish button. Once your website is done creating, go ahead and click on it. You'll see in the dashboard that you have a URL that you can go to to visit your website. Unfortunately, right now it's completely blank if you visit it, but at least you know it's up and running. Next, we're going to set up an FTP connection so that we can actually add information to our website using an FTP app like WinSCP. Now, open up your FTP client of your choice. I'm going to use WinSCP. It's available for free on Windows and works really well. If you don't have it, you can go ahead and download it for free. Once you're in your FTP client, create a new profile and make sure you select FTP, not SFTP or FTPS. We're just going to be using the normal FTP connection. And we're going to need to grab the host name of our FTP client which is found in the dashboard on the Azure portal for your website. So go to the dashboard and look on the right side for the FTP hostname. Copy it, neglecting the FTP colon slash slash, and paste that as the hostname. Leave the port number at 21 as it's configured in WinSCP. Now we need our username and password. So go back to the dashboard and on the quick land section on the right, click configure or reset your development credentials. Now you can enter a username and a password for your website. Go ahead and enter whatever you want. Once your deployment credentials are set, go back to your FTP client and enter your username and password. However, your username is not just your username. It's actually your site name backslash username, and your site name is whatever is before dot azurewebsites.com. So go ahead and type in your site name backslash username. Your password is simply just your password. Now if desired, you can save this profile so you can easily connect to it later. And you can also save your password, which makes it a lot easier. And then go ahead and click log in. Now you officially have FTP access to your new website. Go ahead and open the site folder, www.root, and then open the index.html file. Here's that page, the blank page that was displaying on your website. Now you can actually add some content. So inside the body, let's just type hello world and save that file and once it's finished uploading you can go back to your website and click refresh and you should see your new content you now have access to your new 
Azure website. So that's how you set up a website using Microsoft Azure. Pretty simple. Thanks for watching and have a good day.